Now we're gonna commit act of violence. I hate you! My girlfriend's grandma suggested for me to go to a local cooking class. Go cook now! Yeah, finally arrived. I'm in the entrance. Let's see. <laughs> I'm scared. So here we are. Cooking class is about to start. I'm a bit nervous because I don't speak the language. I'm gonna do my best. I got lucky today. I have English speaking person. Oh, no, no, no. I hope so. But no, you I can speak English. I can speak Japanese. Oh, the first dish that we made was the Dimen Sushi. We utilized a combination of rice and seaweed. The small head is crafted from an egg and the eyes are actually made from a vegan sausage. So unfortunately my um, my oni came out a bit uh, derpy. No, it's not, it's not. It's pretty derpy, but um, I can eat it now. <laughs> Unfortunately, I was unable to demonstrate the sushi making process to you because the method used is a secret, an ancient technique. No, I'm kidding. It's just um, the master didn't want me to film, so... Our next dish is the infamous soba noodle. The substance before you is a soba powder, of which we require 200 grams, and an additional 50 grams of flour. We will blend these ingredients with 120 cc of water until we achieve a solid form. Slap it! They told me to mush it or whatever it's called 300 times. So it is actually 300 times that you need to do. I thought they were joking. Apparently not. Okay, bye. <laughs> Luckily, on my break time, they gave me some tea or cha. <sighs> delicious, delicious. Great hospitality, great people. I love it. Soba is coming. <laughs> <laughs> yep, even though I just literally saw the process with my own eyes, I somehow managed to fail. Fortunately, that part was a bit too hard for me. I'm not um, the brightest guy. No, I was just filming and not actually concentrating on what to do. <laughs> I am the one. Boom. I'm dying to try it. Looks delicious. I mean, not yet, but it will be delicious. I promise you. There's a thing about soba, it can be served cold and hot, actually. Mainly it's made out of buckwheat, so it's that tasty and healthy soba. And I'm great, look at me, look at this cut. It's my attempt of socializing. Melon? Melon or nuts? Miro! No, but there is a difference between nuts and melon. Mm -hmm. Chinese? Chinese nuts. Nuts, okay. Tabun. <laughs> we have a confusion. Anyway, I'll try it. Japanese name Tenshin Amaguri. Tenshin is Chinese thing. Tenshin Amaguri. Just nuts. Ah, Just nuts. nuts. Despite our confusion, we did manage actually to find a common language. <laughs> <laughs> What you see is dashi, and it goes well with basically any Japanese dish, including the soba, which we will boil in just a moment. I'm boiling. 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 
Soba noodles can be found in soba restaurants, casual noodle shops, and even convenience stores. We worked hard for this meal. Now it's time to try it. I'm gonna add some water into this. Uh... Can I show you? Soba to you. Mm -hmm. Handmade cold soba. It was worth the wait, definitely. So if you noticed, I'm slurping, and in Japan is okay. When it comes to soba and noodles, you should slurp, actually. The soba noodles were believed to have originated in the Edo period in Japan, where they were an affordable food and typically served with sake in small family-run soba restaurants. After having a great lesson and a great meal, it was time to say goodbye. Arigatou, minna! But it's not over yet. I overheard about a secret Japanese recipe a few days later, and I had to infiltrate another cooking lesson. Like miso soup, do you know what it is made of? Miso. Let me show you how miso is made. <laughs> Creating miso. The ingredients that I'm grinding are soybeans, koji, and salt. Look at that progress. 90% of that is me. Power. I broke my back. Final. Next is the mixing stage. So what's this thing? Glad that you asked. This is the leftover liquid of the boiled soybeans. And we add it to the mixture that we grinded before to make it a bit more sticky. Teamwork. 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 Team Dimi. Team Dimi. No, 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 no. Team Junko. Team Junko. I have an app for now. I'm part of the team. The next stage was to create round shapes, but I decided to be artistic. Whenever I see something that is like clay-like, I'm creating a human automatically. Miso ningen. Miso ningen. Now we're gonna commit act of violence to release some stress. No. No. Spread some love. Spread some love. Okay. Yeah. I hate you. It's literally in front of me and somehow I'm still missing. I don't... Maybe I should quit. Finally! Oh! Every time I'm getting too excited, I'm missing. The so-called stress release is meant to prevent air pockets within the miso. Failure to do so could result in the miso going bad. To prevent the miso from becoming moldy, we place a layer of salt on the surface. And then after all of that process, we store this miso in a garage or a chili place for half a year, and then it's ready to be consumed. Let me know in the comments if you liked me exposing the secrets of Japanese food and if you actually want to see more of this kind of content. And of course, stay safe and fart bless.